modernization of our Aegis fleet. It's the clearest, clearest path to the 313 ship Navy. It takes existing platforms and it delivers improvements across the board into a package that will deliver Aegis destroyers and Aegis cruisers that will be in service for the next two decades. Come right, steer course 305. Come right, steer course 305. Aye, sir. A critical piece of our cruiser and destroyer modernization goes far beyond the, the just upgrading the Aegis combat systems. It also has to do with the hull and mechanical and electrical upgrades that are being included in part of this modernization. A modernized ship gives me the capability I need at a fraction of the cost of a brand new ship. We've approached this modernization with a, with a very firm understanding of how critical this is not only for Bunker Hill, but also how important this is for the Navy. We're modernizing the backbone of our fleet. We're investing in our 313 ship Navy and we're doing this more efficiently. We've scheduled a four-day hull mechanical and electrical sea trials, HMNA sea trials. This is the turn 500 yards. Next course, 224. The crew's very excited to, to get back to sea. And now they're actually able to operate their equipment, operate their systems. But if you think about it, HMNE is crucial because we're basically modernizing the platform of, on which we build our combat systems capability. We're going to do a, a high speed run. And that will include at the end a crash back. and then after that we'll come back up to, uh, to max speed and do some high speed rudder movements. Steady 040. Steady 040, I think. We've done a lot of preliminary combat systems testing. All right, click it. Boom, yep. you gotta be amazing. And then just adjust it as you're shooting it. It's great to go to sea and actually have the opportunity to do your job. So the big event uh, was that for the first time we've operated SPY 360 degrees with the new program, which we've been able to test. Good thing. We have thoroughly tested the HMD components, home mechanical, electrical. Everything is, is working as expected, so it's a testament to the quality of the work done by our shipyards and then the supervision and, and ship's force. So I'm very pleased with how the sea trials have progressed so far. The goal remains to get every Aegis ship through that modernization. So the road is still long, but we can get there. We understand that for the surface Navy, this is a critical program. And we are devoting the right time, the amount of resources, and personal attention to make this a success. From a fleet commander's perspective, I would have one message. We must upgrade these ships. We need it now, and we can't afford not to do it.